Hi everyone, we're going to go through a couple of apps this evening to look at radiology resources for you on your radiology rotations as well as a general radiology resource throughout any of your clinical rotations. There are going to be two apps tonight, the first of which is going to be called Radiology 2.0, also known as One Night in the ER, and this is a free app, so let's go ahead and open that up. And when you look through the app, uh, there's a list of cases that you can go through, and this app contains 64 cases. And the way that these cases are designed, it is listed almost by the pathology or diagnosis, and it'll show a variety of different imaging modalities where applicable to describe these diagnoses. So let's go ahead and start with the first one here. And as the image loads up, you'll notice there's a case description on the bottom, which is a one or two line description about the clinical presentation. And on the far right and left side, there's this graded slider that allows you to move up and down the image like you would if you were using a normal PAX or imaging type system. And you can kind of scan through the image up and down, go at various speeds to look through all the different cuts of that CT image. Now, when you're ready to go through the discussion, click on discussion in the upper right hand corner and it'll give you a dis detailed description about the case. The best part about this app is all of the linked areas, the highlighted and underlined blue areas, if you click on that it'll bring you to the appropriate image that allows you to see exactly what pathology they're referring to. You can go through distal small bowel and it'll go through all these different areas to describe what exactly that pathology is and give good examples and good comparisons. Now this is probably the most useful as you go through the material or have a patient that has a certain pathology that you know about and you want to see how that displays itself radiographically this is going to be a great app for that. Now again this app is going to have 64 different cases the large majority of them are related to surgical type complications it also includes trauma um, and the majority of the images are going to be plain film and CT. However, overall it's a very good app, especially for a free app. It provides a very good reference for you. And regardless if you're going to go into emergency medicine, I think it's a good general app review in general um, that allows you to go through a variety of cases, especially when you have one or two free moments uh, between other clinical obligations. So when we look at one of the other apps that are out there, this one is called Radiopedia, and note the spelling, it's um, P-A-E-D-I-A, -E in the kind of British spelling of the term. And this one has a similar format, it's a case-based app, uh, also a free app. And when you first download the material, it comes with four cases only, but you can download additional cases to review on your own, some of which are free, some of which are paid cases. So when we look at one of the demo cases here, let's pick the third one here, it'll give you a much more cleaner um, interface to go into for the case. And as you scroll down through the image, it'll give you plain film images. You can again zoom in on these images to get a closer look. You can see on the bottom that there indicates there's images to the right. So you can click on slide to the right, get a closer view of this area, zoom in if needed, zoom out, one more swipe to the right, you get another set of images right there. Go ahead and zoom out, go down to the next section, and this one actually has sort of question and answers regarding each case, what abnormalities are seen on these visible films, reveal answer, I'll give you the answer there in orange answer for question two. Have you gone to the next section? And it'll describe with the CT, you have the same slider mechanism as you had in the other app that allows you to go through a CT image. You can keep going up more questions and answers that you can quiz yourself on. And then there's usually call outs that annotate where exactly the abnormality is. And again, a couple more examples there. And as you keep scrolling through, it'll give you a discussion section that gives you much more information with links to related articles so that you can look up the additional information. Now, to get more cases, in addition to the four that come with it, if you go down to download more at the bottom, 
you'll see it'll pull up the Radiopedia website. And as you look through there, there is two starter packs, uh, each with 10 different cases, and those are both free. And then, of course, as you look through the rest of the material, they have more detailed cases for GI, if you want to look at those. They have cases for CNS or neurosurgical to go through that way. And these are all relatively reasonably priced at $2.99 or less. So please check these out. At least download the starter packs and take a look through this material for quick reference as you go through your clinical rotations. Hope that helps. Thanks again.